If you've been seeing transgender in headlines this week, but you need a quick refresh on the definition. A very, very truncated definition of transgender. Transgender is an umbrella term for people who identify with a gender, meaning identify as a man or a woman, that differs from their genitalia that they were born with. Some transgender people choose to dress and present as the gender they identify with. Some take prescribed hormones. Some undergo surgery. But not all transgender people take those steps and transgender identity is not dependent on physical appearance or medical procedures. This has been a very, very truncated definition of transgender. Besides Caitlyn Jenner, it's likely that a lot of folks don't know of many transgender people, let alone know any personally. And that's likely because the adults who identify as transgender only make up around 0.6% of the population. Yeah, there are less transgender adults in America than there are lift rides every day. So why is the Trump administration so fixated on rolling back civil rights for such a small percentage of the population? In the words of Regina George, why are you so obsessed with them? First, the Trump administration rescinded the guidance that said trans students should be able to choose which bathroom they use. Then there were the Trump tweets saying that he would bring back the ban of transgender people openly serving in the military. Then the Justice Department tried to say that trans workers aren't protected under civil rights law. Then the HHS tried to end a rule that prohibits doctors, hospitals, and insurers from discriminating against transgender patients. Then this administration introduced a new policy that said that trans prisoners would be housed in decisions made for them based on their biological sex. For my Orange is the New Black fans, think of Sophia Bursette being sent to a men's prison. And then this week, news broke of a health and human services memo that reportedly seeks to strictly define gender at birth. It references Title IX, which prohibits sex discrimination in education, and basically says you're either born with boy parts or girl parts, case closed. Understandably, this upset a lot of people. Because if what the memo said were to eventually become policy, it would be defining transgender out of existence. For now, there are still a number of policies and federal laws that protect transgender people. And this is one memo from last spring from one agency, an agency that doesn't even have jurisdiction over Title IX. It is a leap, but it sure is a cherry on top of the transphobic Sunday this administration is serving up. So again, I ask, why so much concern and attention for this group? Is because they have to roll back everything Obama did? Is it to fire up Trump's base before the midterms? Depends when a bet. Weakness arouses evil. These are a million and a half people who are just trying to live their best lives like the rest of us. They are trying to go to the bathroom, serve in the military, work, go to the doctor, and you know, figure out what to watch on Thursdays now that scandal's off the air. On a final note, remember at the RNC when Trump said this? I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. To be fair, he did say he would protect them from foreign threats. He said nothing about domestic ones. I'm Kristen Bry, and thanks for watching Below the Fold. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, or subscribe to get these videos in your box at belowthefold.co.